In this video, I answer your burning questions regarding Grand Theft Auto 6. As always in these videos, we touch on various topics as I try to give answers based on what we know about the game thus far. We have a lot of questions to go through, but before we begin, a friendly reminder, if you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button, leave a like on the video. Most of my viewers are not subscribed. We are on the road to 20,000 subscribers and I sincerely appreciate it if we reached it. Thank you all for the support you show on the videos. Every like, comment and subscription helps the channel grow. If you haven't joined the Discord server yet, you can find the link to it in the description of the video. If you want to connect with the community or participate in future Q&As, you can use the Discord server. But the first question comes from Mike the Nerd. Thank you very much for being a member, Mike. Do you think some of T-Pain's songs will feature in the GTA 6 radio like Bartender and Buy You a Drink? I hope so since T-Pain said he'll be in GTA 6, but then again NDA doesn't allow you to speak out about it, so I don't really know if it's really true. I'm 90% sure T-Pain's music will be featured on the GTA 6 radio, and since he was a big part of the roleplay scene, I wouldn't be surprised if we even see him as a character in the game. Why he revealed his involvement though, I'm not sure. Some people think it's a troll, others think it's a slip up. Of course, nothing has been officially confirmed. Moving on to the next question from Rajveer. Thank you very much for being a member. Hey Chris, from the latest GTA 6 website update, we know that screenshots are coming, but what are the chances? is that we may also receive trailer 2 or pre-orders and a release date. In the code, digital purchases, purchases and release date in words can be found, which is strange if it's a new edition. If the game were to release in early 2025, I wouldn't be surprised if we get the second trailer in the next 2-3 to three months. Even though I think it would be a lot for Rockstar to reveal all of these details, we know that they're approaching this release differently so we can't really predict anything, but we'll see. The next question comes from Louis Zipa. Hey Chris, what made you want to get into speculation content, what made you want to pursue this? Well, I just wanted to make videos on GTA 6, but since the game isn't out yet, I talk about speculation sometimes. It is what it is. The next question comes from Armin the One. Thank you very much for being a member, Armin. Do you think there will be schools, not elementary, of course, but with young adults instead? Possibly. I can definitely see it, especially with social media being a prominent part of the game. And we know how schools are in the States. There's a lot of potential for parodying, so I think it's possible. The next question comes comes from Mr. Irrelevant 2025 VI. Hey Chris, wanted to ask if you had something specific you wanted in the next GTA. I love your channel, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. I'd love to see more interactivity with objects in the game. For instance, it would be great if we could freely place a motorcycle in the back of a box truck on a trailer, or even put vehicles inside the back of a plane. Open the back midair and drop them. I believe that adding more realism in the way objects interact with each other is what makes the game fun in the long run. In one of the leaked clips, a Sanchez motorcycle can be seen inside a container, which makes me hopeful that Rockstar will bring this level of interactivity to the game, and that's exciting. We have a question from Maz185. What would you want to be in a second trailer or screenshots if we're getting them or not after or before the earnings call? Just more GTA 6. I don't have anything specific. I just want to know more about the game, the world, the characters, the story. It'll be interesting to see if anything has changed since the first trailer in terms of visuals, character designs, etc. A question from Kevin5899. Chris, do you think the cops will be able to talk through the radio, talking about suspicious activities, requesting backups, give information about license plates, information about the person and more. Yes, most of this was already confirmed by the 2022 leaked footage, so I do expect these elements to be in the game. Christoph4120 says, I wonder what Rockstar will name their electric vehicles in the game. We've already seen electric vehicles in GTA 5 and GTA Online from various manufacturers, so I expect something similar. The next question comes from Vibath Kulkarni. Do you think that we'll be able to attack our other playable character, like Jason trying to run over Lucia by a car or bombing her. In GTA 5, we were able to damage our characters, and later when we call them, it's shown that they are in the hospital. To what extent do you think it'll be in GTA 6? Will they make it more realistic? In terms of visual effects, I expect it to look more realistic, but I think it'll work similarly. The next question comes from Eddie Online. Will weapon designs be closer to real life? GTA 5 style designs haven't really aged well with current trends and innovations in the firearm industry. Hoping that Jason holds the AR-15 in a C-clamp position. In multiple leaked clips, Jason can be seen holding what seems to be an M rifle in a C-clamp position, and weapons do look more realistic than in previous titles. The following question comes from the Gold 411. Do you think any of the main characters will be in a gang? I can see Lucia being a gang member, but it's also possible Jason and Lucia join a gang during the story. A question from Day Love Vision: Will combat be realistic or arcade? We don't have enough details yet. Question from Cordial Pass Death Kreutz: How many? 
many square miles is the land part. We can't give an exact measurement as most of the map from the mapping project is speculation, but considering GTA 5's map area is around 80 square kilometers or 30 square miles, GTA 6's map is expected to be around double the map size of GTA 5, so around 160 square kilometers or 60 to 70 square miles. Though it could be bigger or smaller, we just don't know. A question from RockXGame90, what do you expect from Take 2 earnings call? The usual stuff, but what I'm most interested in is the full updated fiscal year 25-26 pipeline details, which are expected to be given with this quarter's results. This will hopefully give us a clearer idea of GTA 6's release date if it doesn't get officially revealed by Rockstar. The next question comes from Carla Yatis. If there was flights in the game, how long do you think it would be? Do you mean flights between cities? If there is a fast travel mechanic, it could be instantaneous with the power of the current gen consoles. We'll have to wait and see. The next question comes from Icy Pickle YT. What course would you prefer the story to take? A sad, miserable adventure filled with struggles or an adventure where you feel both characters are unstoppable just to be halted by betrayals or whatever. I think it will be a balanced story like Red Dead Redemption 2 where it will have its sad moments but there will also be some parts of it that are more lighthearted. A question from Ungodly Beast. What types of people do you think Rockstar will absolutely make fun of in GTA 6? Online influencers 100%. The last few questions are coming from Sanji5644. I'll quickly go through them. The first question is when we look at previous GTA titles, the use of water ocean lakes were very underutilized and made the world feel bland. However, I feel that as it's shown in the trailer in GTA 6, the water as well as underwater will be a huge part of the game, which in turn will make the overall map feel larger and denser. I'm really looking forward to an enhancement in that department. What are your thoughts on that? I've answered this in a previous Q&A. Yes, based on what we've seen, the ocean will be much more expanded. Personally, do you prefer the GTA series or the RDR series and why? I'd say GTA because I grew up with it. I feel like it is closest to my heart, but I would also put Red Dead Redemption next to it. As shown in previous titles, gangs can be seen in all major GTA games. Do you expect gangs to return or will the story mainly be centered around the two characters in their primes? Gangs have been confirmed by the trailer and the leaks, so they will be making an appearance. How do you feel about AI being included in the game? I'm skeptical as AI can do so much as what if things become repetitive? What if AI glitches? Even if Rockstar decides to implement it, I think they will make sure it is implemented in a way that enhances the game. And the last question, Midnight Club is an excellent example of Rockstar games can implement race car mechanics in an excellent matter. Do you believe GTA 6 will have that element? If that's the case, I believe Rockstar games will dominate other racing games such as NFS and Forza. They've already implemented drifting mechanics in GTA Online and I've only heard good things about it. So I think Rockstar will absolutely knock it out of the park. But that'll be everything for today's Q&A video. A special thanks to all the members of the channel, Nick Dabala, Mike the Nerd, Armin the One, I am Vlad66, ShamGodJD, Rajveer, and Victoria Starlight. If you haven't joined the Discord server yet, you can find the link to it in the description of the video if you want to further connect with the community. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.